welcome to this 31st day in Lent. I'm out for a walk on the trails and who do I run into but my good friend Judy. Hello everyone. <laughs> and this was not scripted. <laughs> and we have bubbled together so uh, so don't report us. We're, we're, we're good. We're out in the, the nature in the the rails to trails. Was this, did this used to be a, a railroad spot? Oh, it did. Yeah. And now it's all nature out for a walk heading to a stream. I'm just going to pause for a minute because our scripture today, how are we doing there? Ju Judy's looking out the back for, bi for bicycles. <laughs> our scripture comes from Mark chapter 11 verses 15 to 17. Then they, then they came to Jerusalem and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. He was teaching and saying, is it not written, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. Well, for me in reading that one today, I was thinking about a place of prayer and a place of robbers, I guess you would say. I think we all have places where we just don't feel comfortable. Then we have other places that we just feel are a prayer in themselves. I mentioned yesterday in the prayer that all you had to do was look at nature and you can see a prayer. How do you feel about being in nature, Judy? Does this feel like a, a sacred place for you? Indeed. Indeed, and I wish everybody could come down and enjoy this. It's just a gift to all of us. Where is it that you feel close? Where is your house of prayer? Do you have a, a special rock you sit on along a stream or a bank somewhere or a mountaintop or an easy chair in your living room? Wherever it is, that might be your sacred place, your place of prayer where no one can come and rob the spirit from that place, a place of uh, unique faith that's just your spot. That place that's as close to heaven as we, you know, so close to heaven that we can almost touch it. I hope you have a place like that. Just like yesterday, today, nature will be our prayer as we look around and take it all in. Judy's still with me, here she is. I hope today that you can, uh, well, share with me any thoughts you might have at lentonfaith at gmail.com uh, and go out and have a great sunshiny day if you're able on this 31st day in Lent. God bless.